Stop with the big bad thing, come on! <laughs> not a vlog, it's a simple bike check, but with none other than one of my best friends and defeating world champion, son of a flat, Nikoli Rogatkin. What a pleasure to have you. start showing us all his custom parts because his bike is actually how heavy or light? <laughs> the bike's actually pretty light. Uh, it's just brand new. When I built it, I weighed it in at 9.7. So uh, pretty stoked on that to help me huck around some of those uh, spin and whip maneuvers. Um, so what special parts do you have? Well, first of all, the frame, the brand new color, the copper color. Uh, it's an aluminum frame and it's uh, with this special specialized geometry specifically made for slope star riders. Me and Martin, it has um, geometry that's uh, a bit short on the back and, and um, it just helps us with our tails because me and Martin do a lot of those. So that's specially yeah. made. That's um, pretty cool because I here have a special YT frame 2015 straight out of the box special geometry for me and all the boys at YT because you know with all my flip tables and big ass threes <laughs> with all my flip tables and big ass threes um, I needed a special geometry and uh, yeah you know pretty pretty pumped on that 2015 YT with a special paint just for me. Next, we're gonna move on to the, uh, the Trixer. It's right up front. Uh, it allows me to do basically as many bar spins and tail whips as I can, as I find myself doing a lot of those. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's the next part. And uh, let's see what Jordy's got on there. Well, I got the straight out of the box Core Rivera bars with the core stem, um, obviously not put straight and a high class Avid disc brake with a very long cable that allows me to do a Illuminati amount of <laughs> bar spins and especially on those big drops uh, down a joyride and stuff, uh, it's really helpful. Okay, uh, should we move on then? Please, um, I, I think your bike's really sick by the way. Okay, thanks. Much appreciated. I'm, I'm quite stoked on it as well. What about the seat? Why, why so the seat alignment of my bike has actually been uh, something that people have looked at uh, ever since I put my seat like that. So this is an idea that actually Vlad and I come to realize. Uh, so usually, even though the seat looks better when it's up, if you're gonna land even a little bit back wheel with your legs up, it's gonna go straight up in your ass. True. So, for a little bit of time, I tried to adjust the seat so that I can go like this and sit down and it can feel completely natural. And that way I realized that if I'm riding out of a trip, I can sit down and it's not gonna feel weird. You get what I mean? True, I get what you mean. Imagine if it was up more. Straight up there, tailbone injuries, ball sack injuries, that's the worst that it can. Yeah, Let's look at your seat, which does look like it's bumhole prepared ready. My seat, especially my tire, is bumhole prepared ready. I have to say, I already did a no-footed lander, slipped through here, and then at the evening in the shower, figured out everything down there is completely blue. It hurt a little bit, took a while to go away. No pumping for a while, no the, magic the big, in the bed. The big hog was able to fit in there? Uh, or well, just the balls? It, no, no, it, it, it made its way, it made its way. <laughs> try, to, try to take a seat on my seat and see how you feel. So turn around, go like this. Stand up as you would straight, look forward, and now sit down. True. But the other one is... It's hard. It's really hard. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. It's a bit hard. It's hard, but it doesn't matter. You, have you get what I mean? Though. Yeah, 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 no, for sure. I get what I mean. True. There we go. One person agreeing with my seat position. So next, I guess, we got the... Uh, 
the cranks and pedals, of course. Uh, for me, uh, happy to say that um, I think this crank pedal combo is the lightest it could could possibly get with the SRAM carbon crank and the uh, VP altitude pedal with the titanium spindle. Why altitude? Is, is it better in high altitude, like <laughs> when you ride crankworks at Le Desalp, for example? Yeah, way better. I mean, it's got the, uh, it's got the blue design that says altitude on it. Whenever it rises, it's got that uh, hyperbaric chamber, or whatever you want to call it, in there. Yeah, so yeah. It makes sense, makes sense. So yeah, Not my pedals are actually DMR bikes pedals. Big up to DMR bikes and all the trail scene in England that was massively involved in getting me started to ride. And they're about 10 years old. Um, 10? Yeah. More. You said more. No, I, I'm... Oh no, you said they were from... No, you said... They're yeah, probably from 2000. Six? Five? I don't That's know. before my first MOD. The thick DMR V12, people will know. And obviously the cranks, sprocket and chain, out of the box from Young Talent, still working. We're moving on to... One of the final parts of the bike, uh, one of the most important, uh, the fork. I'm running the, the RockShox Pike DJ, which I, I think it's the best dart jump fork in the game, if I'm honest. But people can like to differ, as maybe you. Is it Pike, Pikey? Like Gypsy? <laughs> no. I, don't, I don't know. You're gonna have to go ask RockShox about the or origin of the name. I okay, okay. Where Pike came from. RockShox, if you see this, please let me know if Pikey D DJ stands for a Pikey DJ from Ireland or for a Pike Dirt Jump Fork. Would be really interesting to get an answer. I would love to get an answer. But I know they're pretty dope. I got the Masaki Slow. <laughs> that used to be actually factory. People couldn't get them and I got them through some connections straight from the factory in Italy. Super pumped, pumped, super pumped about that. Pumped. Thank you, Marzocchi, for sorting that out. Amazing. Uh, wheels, the final, we're gonna do the final thing, the wheels and the tires. I'm running some DK Swiss wheels, one in the front I love. Probably my favorite wheel I've ever ridden. It's held up extraordinarily through some horrendously bad cases, as has the back. Um, so yeah, DT Swiss, front and back. Yeah, man, also, I finally found my right wheels. I got them straight out of the box from YT. Um, the tires are actually Maxxis tires and, um, yeah, Core. They're called Core Riviera Disc. And um, they hold up pretty well, and I'm pretty stoked. And um, thanks, YT, for hooking me up with the ride. Uh, yeah, I just heard a lot of out of this uh, straight out of the box theme. True. Let's get the next thing straight out of the box, right? My DH bike. Yeah, please. That Sam got me. And um, actually really interesting and really stoked on the bike you're riding. Thanks, dude. It looks really sick. Uh, I wish I could have it. I can't wait to session it at the uh, MOD bag section next week. Come out, isn't it? Yeah, it's should coming up in the... Should they be watching out for that or what? They should be watching out for the bag jumps landing bag session with Nikoli, with Adolf, with all the crazy cats. It's going to be an insane session. I just went and checked out the spot today. Um, it, it looks like we're going to go to the moon and come back down with some of the some of the biggest tricks ever done. So I'm stoked to shred that one. I'm stoked you're going to be shredding that one straight out of the box onto the big ramp. Uh, yeah, she was sick. Yeah, so let's move on to the H. Let's see, uh, where is it actually? There it is. I actually think I got a factory one. Yeah? Yeah, pretty sure, because look, it still has a sticker on. Sam. Oh, it says Sam. And it's a brand new Polygon. Oh my God, this is as heavy as your N. This is... <laughs> This, this is as heavy as your entire dirt jump bag. Are there, is it normal that the wheels are that heavy? Is it? Dino bike wheels and tires, they gotta be girthier, dude. Gotta have more girth, so. Okay. Oh, they are. They, they can't be lighter, I'll tell you that. And there it is. Ooh. Put that box down so it looks fresh. Look at right. this piece. I am so pumped. Thank you, Sam. There it is. I'm gonna leave that on there. As honor to the one and only 
Eddie the Eagle, Sam Reynolds, making it possible that I get my first donut back. Oh, and there it is, my brand new toolkit I got from my best girlfriend in the world that features everything I need. <laughs> so stoked right now, aren't you? Yeah, I'm so stoked. I really feel like it's Christmas. <laughs> Actually, my huge, 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 huge official birthday party is coming up 28th of July in Pratasona. It's gonna be the legendary outdoor party again. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, look! Oh my god, that's as low as it goes right now. Okay, so uh, Sam Reynolds, may you please explain? <laughs> Oh, let's look at that once the bike is done. Um, there we go, here's your front wheel guy. You gotta take it out of this side. Which side? This side. Your side? My side, yeah. So Nikoli has just tried, believe it or not, for like three minutes and can't put it in. And I have no idea either. Stop it. It's insane. Sayo, can, can Sayo maybe help us out? Help me hold the bike. <laughs> Trying to. So we're really here. Is it Three guys from MOD can put the back wheel of a down the bike in. Super embarrassing. What do I have to do? No. No. You get it. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Put the bike up to the I can't believe yet. Yeah, I can't believe we can't even put it on. Yeah, Sam, where's the manual? We can't put it together. How does this <laughs> Yes. I think you get it. Yes. Yes. Yeah! Yay! Yeah! Did it for me! <laughs> You don't need to know how to work a bike if you ride. Not even if you're world champion. Not a fucking Shimano shifter. <laughs> Never worked with that before. Probably the best bike you've ever owned. For sure the most expensive bicycle I've ever owned. That's for sure. Hopefully a Georgie Fetcher classic flip table is gonna come out on this thing one day. <laughs> we still to see that. How does it feel, big guy? Right up your ass? <laughs> It feels weird because uh, the seat is so high, but uh, I can't believe I finally own a downhill bike. So I guess next episode you'll get your big bike out as well. Well, I hope so. Or in one of the next episodes, and then we um, gotta have a blast. And I can't wait to shred this with the boys in Solden at the back session. It's gonna be sick. Cool, guys. Oh, fuck off. Cool guys, so thank you for watching. This was the bike check with Nikoli Rogatkin and myself. Subscribe, like, comment, whatever. We will we'll also be happily answer you some questions. Comment some tricks you want to see Georgie do at the bag session. Comment tricks for everyone, but mostly for Georgie. Front bomb. <laughs> All right, cool. See you then. Stop touching my girlfriend, Nikoli.